Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Nur Adindaini binti Muhammad Zawawi and I'm from BA 2T34A. And hi, uh, my name is Nino Hamiza binti Nifazir and I am also from BA 2T34A. For our video critic presentation uh, that will present about the interpersonal communication issues in the workplace, which is the the scene movie the scene from the movie called Chef that was released in 2014 that tells about Chef Carl Casper that was played by John Favreau suddenly quits his job at the prominent Los Angeles restaurant after refusing to compromise uh, his creative integrity for its uh, controlling owner that was played by Dustin Hoffman. Uh, he is left to figure out what's next. Finding himself in Miami he teams out with his ex-wife, uh, which is played by Sofia Vergara, his friend that was played by John Leguizamo, and his son to launch a food truck. Uh, taking to the road, uh, Chef Carl goes back to his roots to regnate uh, his passion for the kitchen and zest for life and love. And here we present our chosen interpersonal communication issues in the workplace through this video clip that comes from the movie that we chose. Are you, uh, are you planning on altering the menu? Yeah, I can't do this right now, please. Just You know a lot is on the line today. I know, that's why the menu has to be perfect. Yeah, but I can help you plan it. I can't do this right now. Just give me five minutes to get my staff going. I'll come and I'll walk you through the menu. Uh, Carl, I've done this before. I can help guide you. I don't, I don't need guidance right now. I need space. Okay? Thank you. Can we have a little privacy, uh, guys? Huh? I ask you to leave, you gotta look at Carl. Right, okay, everybody, tomen cinco, take five. Saca todo el fuego, maricas. You good? I got it. Go, go, go. Grab a call. Let's get something straight. Yeah. You don't f to my staff like that. I talk to my staff. That side of the pass is you, this side is me. That was the arrangement that we had when you hired me. Okay, now, will you listen to me for a minute? Carl, yeah. I get ideas. Sometimes uh -huh. my ideas work. I really don't care what magazine said that you're the next big thing. The fact is, you work for me in my restaurant, uh -huh. right? I've had chefs before you in this kitchen. I'll have chefs after you, okay? All right, good talk. Let me get back to work. You know who's coming tonight? We're being reviewed by the most important critic in the city. Yes. You know that his I'm online aware. blog was sold to AOL for ten million dollars. That's right. Yes. You knew that. Yes. I know. Okay. He's a big deal, and that's why I want to cook him a good menu. You want to give him? A, you want to cook him a yeah, good? I menu. want to cook him some good food. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then. And our place is in a f creative rut. In a rut? In a creative rut. You, you do know that we're doing better than any place in the neighborhood. I'm not talking about how much money we're making. I'm talking about creatively the food that we're serving. It's the same food we've been serving for five years. You remember what happened when you put guts on the menu? Huh? Are you talking about my sweetbreads? Is that, is that what you mean by guts? Yeah. When you put that artsy sh menu, people don't like it. Not one person ordered your sweetbreads. Please listen to me. I sank a fortune into the remodel to get you the French uh, cookie top, whatever it is, that table top. French cooking sweet. Right. Not every chef gets yes. that. No, you know I why you get it? it? I appreciate it. You know why? No. Because you deserve it. So you don't know that. But I know it. You deserve it. So be smart, just for tonight. Look. If you bought Stone's tickets and Jagger didn't play Satisfaction, how would you feel? Would you be happy? No. No. You'd burn the place to the ground. Your menu works. People love it. Carl, do what you want tonight. Okay, you're the chef. You know what I think? I think you should play your hits. All right, let's go. Pre-shift, guys. At work. Carl. Carl, we're staying with the same menu, right? Yeah, I have something really good planned for tonight. I'm gonna let you say it's not sweetbreads. Yeah, that, be able to taste it. that may be true, but we have the most reservations we've had on a work night since we opened. You realize that? I know. I was on Twitter. I was, yeah. I was, I was promoting the restaurant. I was what? on Twitter. Yeah, that's another thing. From now on, before you post anything online, I okay it. All right. The what? whole reason everybody's here tonight is because I called out Ramsey and Michelle online, and they're all coming to watch me stick it in his. And you're gonna Twitter an apology for calling the most respected critic in Los Angeles an ass. I'm like a fuck apologize, that guy. What do you mean? You see what he wrote about me? I don't give a fuck about you. I don't care. You're a cook. You're a chef. This is what you've been cooking for years, and it works. 
And either you cook the menu that our customers have come to. You want me to cook the same food? The same exact. The same food that he ripped apart? The same guy who's coming tonight? The restaurant isn't filled with critics. It's filled with people that have been eating your food for the last 10 years. So now suddenly you're going to be an artist. Well, be an artist on your own time. Listen to me. No sweet Listen. breads, no calves bread. I'm not cooking sweet breads. Listen to me. The kitchen is my domain. That was our deal. I don't give a f what the deal was. The deal has now changed. Either you stay or you go. It's up to you. End of discussion. We got a full house of people yeah. who are coming tonight yeah. to eat my food. No, it's not your food, Carl. It's not your food. By definition, it's my food because it's my restaurant. I pay for the glasses. I pay for the napkins. I pay for the spoons. I pay for Molly's salary. I pay for your entire staff's salary, okay? So you either cook my menu or Tony can. Tony, you've been cooking it half the time anyway. Tell the truth, right? So you're threatening to fire me now? Am I threatening to fire you? No, I'm telling what I'm prepared to do if you don't cook my menu. Subject closed. Well, why don't you cook the menu without a chef? And we see how it goes. We see how it goes tonight. Let's go, Tony. Tony. Good luck. Oh no way! No Good way! Luck. That. No more, way, more, man! More. No hell no! Come on! Stay. Go. Stay. Man, no, come on! Let me go. Fucking don't do it. Tony, you got a full house tonight. Be a pro, okay? The synopsis of the video excerpt is Carl Casper, the head of the chef or goddesses in Brentwood, had some conflict with the restaurant's owner, Riva. The conflict began when Carl has the chance to serve passages for Kitty and blogger MC Michael. Riva starts to force Carl to follow his plan as the owner of the restaurant. Carl told Riva that he should not step in kitchen businesses as the deal with Riva hired him. However, Riva not listen to Carl and demand him to prepare the old menu again. These are the elements that will be explained in our presentation. The first element of this mass communication is rudeness. In this scene, Carl, who is the head of chef, had used inappropriate words in front of Riva, the owner of the restaurant, when the owner wants to talk with him in private. The analysis is Carl reveals a rude behavior in a workplace. According to Crampton and Hodge 2009, rudeness is a display of disrespectful by an individual who does not comply with social norm or ethic. An individual who display rude attitudes, portrays lack of manners and discouragedness. From that scene, it gives a fact which is Carl say inappropriate word when Riva was trying to explain his idea about the suggestion menu is regarded as rude because it shows lack of manners and discouragedness toward his boss which is Riva. His rudeness reveals his disrespectful towards the conflict being discussed during the talk. We suggest that an individual should be in control of their ethics and formal workplace setting. A compass ethic will create an environment of mutual respect. Next is tolerance. According to the scene figure in this slide shown that Riva is talking about how the menu that Carl made in the past was not success because there are not many of their customers who likes the menu. Riva does not cooperate with Carl in prepares the new menu that uh, Carl come up with. Instead, he insists to let Carl prepare uh, the new menu uh, because Riva thinks that um, Riva thinks that the old menu is already good enough to please the prestigious uh, food critic and blogger Ramsey Michael. Uh, Riva action shows that he does not have the the tolerance behavior as a business owner. Uh, according to the research study by Fuster, Karen O'Connor and Peter, which is uh, in 2017, mentioned that people who score higher in tolerance of ambiguity also score higher on a measure of complex problem solving. In addition, according to Abu Bakar, Megiri and Sneikat in 2018 mentioned that tolerance for workplace Incivility lead to greater job behavior among employees. This uh, this research shows that Riva, as a business owner, has lower tolerance uh, that makes the situation becomes a problem in the workplace because of him. 
as the result of the intolerance behavior of the business owner, which is Riva, Carl seems to lose the respect uh, for him and withdrawing himself as a head of the chef in an important event. Therefore, Riva should be more professional as a business owner, where he need to be tolerate tolerate uh, at Carl, as he is not making uh, the mistake the same mistake all the time. Uh, Riva also should discuss first about uh, the new menu that Carl come up with in order to show the tolerance behavior of him. Yes, which is respect. According to this this scene, uh, Carl mentioned that Riva should step out from the kitchen businesses uh, because it was the deal when he was hired at the first place. However, Riva insists and does not let Carl prepare the menu that he wanted and show that uh, Riva does not respect the agreement he made when hiring Carl and does not trust Carl in preparing the new menu. Uh, this shows that Riva does not uh, respect the skills and knowledge that Carl has as the head of the chef of the restaurant. According to the journal written by Bill Ginoglu, Yosgat and Arthur in 2019 mentioned that respect in organization has a positive impact on employees' job satisfaction. In addition, uh, Rogers and Ash Ashford in 2014 mentioned that the major disconnect of in organizations is between members' desire for respect and the amount of respect they actually receive. The result of the lack of respect from Riva as a business owner to his employee, Carl, uh, is that Carl cannot express his creativity as a chef at the popular restaurant in Los Angeles to a prestigious food critic and blogger Renze Michael and makes Carl being critic in social media as a chef that does not have a creativity in creating the menu. Creating the menu. Uh, this situation has lowered Carl's self-esteem and makes Carl starting to argue with Riva. Therefore, Riva should be concerned about talent that Carl has as a chef rather than making assumption uh, on Carl's skill uh, based on the prior experience sales on the menu that customer doesn't like. Last elements of mismatch communication is threatening. Riva says, so you either cook my menu or Tony can. This scene Riva, the owner of the restaurant, had threatened Carl, the head of chef, that he will replace Tony as a new head chef if Carl did not want to make his menu. The analysis is Riva reveals a trait behavior towards the employees. According to research from Stony Brook University 2021, threatening behavior includes a physical action short of actual contact or injury, general oral or writing traits to people or property as well as implicit traits. Due to the threatening made by Riva who intends to replace, Tony as a new head of chef had affected his other employees become hesitant in helping him to serve the food to their clients. As a professional manager, the owner should avoid stress and be more professional and corpus during discussion. It will create a mutual respectful and calm atmosphere which will avoid misunderstanding and conflicts. To conclude, we can learn and gain valuable lessons by reflecting on the several critical incidents from this movie. This movie highlights the significance of work ethics, professionalism, teamwork, and communication skills in workplace. We can conclude that all of these aspects are important as it impacts our relationship with other individuals and also help educate us on effective communication. This critical incident enlightened us on the importance of proper and professional interaction with every individual throughout every aspect of our communication. That's all from us. Thank you.